The time has come to finish the video game. Return to Monkey Island. Copyright NTM. 2022 Lucasfilm Limited. All rights reserved. Used under authorization. We've made it. I think. <laughs> I say that pretty confidently. Uh, it's entirely possible we don't finish, but I would expect that we do. I would expect it. <laughs> hey, Sniff. What's up, Azza? Hey, Adam. Phantom, Annie, Warlock, Ratfor, Victor, Sublime, Mal, and Frezzy. Good to see all of you. Uh, I've been thinking about this game a lot as I tend to do when I play it every day. It's a beauty. It's really fun. I'm also excited to, s I'm starting a new series on the channel tomorrow. Uh, you think you guys will like it? It's gonna be videos. This will probably be my last stream until next week because I have uh, a cousin visiting starting tomorrow, picking her up from the airport at 7 a.m. Love that. Love that. <clears throat> it's 100 degrees outside. It's uh, 16 degrees here, Celsius. I don't know what that is in freedom units, but it's uh, brisk. It's brisk. And I don't have ice cream, but I have Cold brew, as always, almost. How are you guys doing? Boop, 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 boop. You had a heart attack when the audio kicked in? Well, that'll teach you for having your volume up too high. <laughs> Omar. Omar, I'm surprised you're awake. It's 1 p.m. It's, it's too early. Doing okay, you had a facial today, so you're feeling really relaxed. Mm, nice. You know what I haven't had in a long time is a massage. I used to go for a massage like every six months. It's been probably two years. Well, maybe more, because COVID. So uh, I need to I need to go, I need to find like someone very strong that can just like put their elbow into my back and just like like just like make me feel immense pain for like an hour and then when I'm done I can not feel pain for a while that would be great 16 celsius is 61 fahrenheit good temp yeah it's nice it's like uh it's not too it's not hot that's for sure but it's not cold it's like hoodie weather it's hoodie weather <coughs> You said lights off, volume up. I just set the mood a bit too enthusiastically. I like that. You even spelt enthusiastically correct. Very well done. Very well done. You could go to a chiropractor and get the old back crack. You know, very tempting, but like there's a part of me that feels like... <laughs> Always like to start the stream with a good controversy. There's a part of me that feels like chiropractors uh uh aren't like adding any benefit if that makes sense <laughs> um i've heard bad things i went to a chiropractor when i was younger like uh 15 i think i went to a chiropractor i remember it scared the hell out of me because there were stories at that time of like um a chiropractor that had like killed a bunch of people <laughs> anyways not super relevant that said uh i think i would prefer a massage but i will say like sometimes i'll ask around like can you just try and crack my back like just like push on like you know this I, you know when you just kind of have that desire for relief and you just want a crack like i like oh I do want that. I do, but I don't know. Chiropractors are a bit weird. <clears throat> <laughs> it's 
30 plus violin noob. Just finished yesterday. Not looking forward to watching you. Greets from Vienna. Star. Now. Good correction, thanks. Used to go to a chiropractor religiously, and while it felt it helped at certain times, I stopped going months ago and switched to consistent working out massage instead. Works better. Yeah. I'm on the consistent working out train for like the past... Well, about a year ago, I started running, which is exceptional. Uh, that has probably changed my life. But then I started um, lifting more weights for the past probably four or five months now. And um, yes, that definitely does help. But I do also feel, um, you know, you get that extra muscle soreness, right? And you're working out muscles sometimes that you aren't used to using. So then... It, it creates a soreness and massage in combination with that I think would be the dream but I haven't been for quite a while so chiropractor realigned my spine I felt it in my feet it was a weird experience yeah yeah I believe that I think I I, I kind of have this vibe that chiropractors um are more temporary relief like you get that immediate relief the crack and the, oh, okay cool but then like it seems like kind of things like settle back in I'm sure there's people that are very like pro chiropractor um, that disagree, and I don't have I don't have the experience to to, to argue otherwise. But um, yeah, so. Oh Yossi, you go to McGill. Oh cool. I did all my schooling in Saskatchewan, but yeah, McGill's cool because that's near where I live now. Started running a year ago. <laughs> you have no idea where I am. Same. Same, bro. Same. Lubricant is essential. Lubricant is essential. Thank you, Sarah, for the super chat. Excited for this video. Hi from hot Texas. I've been to Texas. I think. Have I been to Texas? I'm pretty sure I was in Texas. I think I was in Dallas? Or Fort Worth? I don't know, maybe both. I can't remember. I'm such a world traveler. Okay, uh, Terror Island. Let's go. So basically right now, let me, let me get my, let me get my notes. God, my desk is a mess right now, you guys. This is, I, my desk should be clean so that my mind is clean when I'm playing this game. However, it's not, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Couple of couple of outstanding things. We have uh, we have to free what's his name, Stan. Okay, and I can't do that until I can find a picture of me. There's a picture of me with a bird. The bird. I need to figure out something I could use to scare him off, and I apparently don't have that item. Uh, and then there's the guy on the island that has a picture of him, which is interesting. I don't even know why I would need that, but he he is apparently Stan's accountant. And presumably, if I release Stan, then that would freak him out, and he would want to leave or something. That's that's my guess. All this to say, I'm trying to find something I think to scare the bird. So we're gonna just explore Terror Island. We have bizarre graves, mysterious clearings, slimy grotto, rocky beach, unlucky place, and twisting path. Rocky beach. Let's begin. We came in here real quick at the end of the last stream, did we not? I believe so. Let's start off with a little trivia. As one does. How many parrots are next to the scurvy dog shack? One. God. Watch out for thorns. This place doesn't like visitors. Can we cut? No. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. Avoid the sharp, nasty thorns. Oh, we can touch them now. Ah, Papa Pichu! That hurts! I hope they're not poisonous. Papa Pichu? Huh. Could the bird be somehow tempted away from the nest by the photo of the melee's... melee cook's dad? Uh, no. We gave that photo... Uh, to... We, didn't we give that photo... Wait, isn't it in here? Hold on. Here's the thing, okay? So the photos go... Yeah, this guy. I don't know if that's what you meant by the dad, but maybe that's his dad. The photos go in here, and then once you combine it with the frame, like, you can't even uncombine them. So, you, it looks like we're making combinations of photos. I need my photo next to Stan to prove to the guard that I know Stan. 
The toothbrush will not do. We don't know why we have that. Rest in yet. pieces. Um, so no. I'll yeah, make a note of this so I can remember it in my nightmares. Did that just move? Probably. I thought I saw it move. Twisted forest. Let's go. That's it. Let's go to the unlucky place. This feels like a trap. In what room is the ground constantly swirling? I have literally no idea. Deathloop got a major update. What was the update, Kimberly? Couple people in chat finished the game today. Mick and Retu. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, Steven. None of these look right. Cabin? One for Warlock and one for chat. Do you guys want to know what your score is right now for trivia? It's uh, 10 correct, 3 wrong. You've come a long way. You've come a long way. It's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. This could be a key for... It's not a skeleton key, but I did find it stuck in a skeleton's chest. This could be... There, there's the guy on the island that has a treasure chest. This is this was for the display case. Um, it could open that chest that that guy had. I'm sure I'm a more skilled survivalist and have nothing to worry about. I'll just... Uh, this place gives me that lonely feeling. I'd rather keep moving along. That lonely feeling? New weapons, new enemies, extended endings. Yeah, I don't know. I love Deathloop, don't get me wrong. I just don't see me going back to it. Odina is the blank reigning queen of Bermuda. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. It's like a slow crashing wave of spores. So the one thing in this game is that different from the previous ones, because of these trivia cards, there's a lot of kind of filler spaces. I don't necessarily love that. I shouldn't say a lot, but there's a few where it's like you're clearly just coming there to get a, a trivia card, you know? There's a few. I won't take it out of control. Here's another one. Flags on the midway are. I don't even know what. Uh, what is that? I have no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> Ten and a half hours it took you? That's pretty good. Twelve hours for Retu. I think I'm at. I think I'm at. Eight hours as of today. Let's say, um. It's, it's not ready for me. Okay. Notice I'm not keeping my own. Whatever score. it is, I don't think it wants me around. Uh, there's no such thing as a man eating mushroom, right? I'm literally only keeping score for chat. Which I think is fair. Oh, so that's somebody. It says XYZZY. I can't quite get it off of there. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. That was a trivia question, I believe. Nice. Oh. I've had it with locks. Could it be? It be. Brave the pitch blackness and possible bottomless pit. Do we have matches still? Oh, I can light a match. What? Can I light anything in my inventory on fire? Be cool if you could actually light this toothbrush. That would be neat. Okay, so it looks like there's a path upwards. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. 
Okay, maybe I have to do it. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. Okay. What else do I have that could light something up here? X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Wow, neat. It's magic. That is neat. So I can teleport to the opening of this cave. Um, clearly someone needs my help. But I probably just need to find something that I can light on fire for a period of time. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about 15 by 15 and full of holes. Okay. It's getting hard to tell the flora from the fauna. Let's leave and see if there's anything else on this island that we can use. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. As a potential torch of sorts. Okay, so we were at beach, unlucky place, twisting path. Were we at Sliming Grotto? Yes. Mysterious clearing. Okay, now we're talking. Ugh. Looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? <laughs> They're probably in the previous games. On the door of the outhouse is a moon. <laughs> Don't know why I remember that. But that's fine. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. That outhouse in the last game was, uh, never did anything, did it? I don't think it did anything. There was like a, I remember there was a targeting on the straw, like, uh, roof. Nothing. Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. Yeah, I remember weird stuff, nothing important. Oh, here we go. Can I light this bad boy? Okay, it's lit. All right. Uh, there we go. Let's still check out the bizarre grove before we leave. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. <laughs> Just a dead end. It sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. A leaning tree. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Huh. I guess it doesn't work everywhere. What? So I just have to be, like, in here, I guess? X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Huh. I guess it doesn't work everywhere. Oh, maybe it only... Oh, this is the wrong spot. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Twisting path. That's what it was. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Huh. Huh. I guess it doesn't work everywhere. Okay, so maybe it only gets us out of here. I like that we auto-equip that. Wait! It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze oh, of no. twisty passages, mostly very similar. Do I remember the chicken with the pulley in the middle? Yes, of course. that's a classic, of course. A little symbol there, and there's a symbol there. <sighs> okay, we're gonna maybe try and navigate this using the symbols as just markers. So let's do the dancing square. Looks like someone forgot to pick up their trash. No, there's something to this. Spring sprung hard. The dancing square flowers yawned wide. The bees dove in. Knowing he must sail away the next season on his major voyage quest, she tried and failed to keep it casual. What? Okay, so we came out of the bone arrow. <laughs> We're going to go into the side tornado. Another note. Every ocean... Can I move these? No. Every ocean sunrise and moonrise reminds me of you. 
Those dual orbs dancing in the winter sky, he mused. I can't... can't well, I can't even think of a word for this. C? Uh, e? E with an extra dash? Pen in hand. So I guess maybe we're just looking for all of these, and then we will go in the order of those, maybe. Okay, so dancing square. Wait, if I go in here, I'm curious. Yeah, okay. Actually, hold on. Let's check all of these different branches then. I'm just looking for notes. Their last summer night together was Torrid Lurid and I with a slash through it. The night was long, but insufficiently so, because morning came too soon when you must set sail. I might also have to guess, like, the order that these go in, potentially. Those crisps fall... Uh... Side truck Falcon bird... This is a bird. Those crisp fall bird nights at sea, the ship undulated, wet and rocking, and yet in the bunks below decks, great TV show, no one was knocking. Pound sign? The pit of agony lies ahead. That's <laughs> promising? It looks really deep. I can hold my breath for eight minutes. Okay, here goes. Oh no, the lamp is going out. I should have seen that coming. Yep. Water, fire. I should have. I did see that coming. How am I going to get out of here? That's a great question. It won't light underwater. It's the pirate's life for me. <laughs> oh no. Help me. Oh, am I in the right place, John? Help. Actually, this is where I need to be? <laughs> It's actually so good. This is the point where Elaine usually rescues me. Yeah, what, do, what am I gonna do? I just die down here? How am I gonna get out of here? Do I X, Y, Z, Z? Elaine! Any time now. I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just like clicking oh. to see if I'm moving anywhere. But I have no idea. I can only hold my breath for eight minutes. I probably shouldn't be talking while holding my breath. Help! X, Y, Z, Z, Y. That was a close one. I'll have to remember that fire doesn't burn underwater. Okay. But I feel like I need to be there. Okay, it's lit. But I, I need to maybe find something else that can help me there. It says, warning, you are about to enter. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, okay. So because I have the solution, it saves me having to navigate it now. The pit of agony lies ahead. Is it something to do with this puffer fish? That's the only Not thing while I'm holding the lamp. that I could think of. The flame looks good. Not while I'm holding the lamp, which means I can't put the lamp I can't put the lamp down. Can't put the lamp down. What if I leave? Oh, okay. So now there's no, there's nothing in the passages now. It looks really deep. Okay. I'm confused as to what I can do at the bottom. Not while I'm holding the lamp. Agony. The pit of agony lies ahead. Well, 
Okay. Here goes. Oh no! The lamp is going out! I should have seen that coming. Water. Fire. It's too dark to see anything. It's too dark. SOS! It's. Help! It's too dark to see anything. It's too dark to see anything. Uh, no luck lighting up. It's dark! It's one of the most. It's too dark to see anything. Oh. Oh, I thought maybe the glow would be able to show. I me can something. only hold my breath for eight minutes. I can only hold my breath. It's too dark to see anything. Huh. This is the point where Elaine okay. usually rescues me. Help. There's got to be something then that I can combine. Lane X Y Z Z Y. There's got to be something I can combine with the the lit lamp to like. That was a close one. I have to remember that fire doesn't burn underwater. Somehow protect it. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. Okay, hold on. Let me blow this up first, maybe. I don't know why I feel like this is gonna even benefit me, but I'm thinking maybe I could float to the top if I hold it or something. Well, that isn't getting me anywhere. Okay, it's lit. Okay, now, can this com combine with anything? What the frick? I can't. It looks okay. Here goes. You're a half hour in the maze. Oh no. The lamp is going out. I should have seen that coming. Water, fire. That's funny. Well, now I'm stuck in here. Inhale. I wonder if this will add to my timer. How am I gonna get out of here? Nope. Nope. <laughs> what the hell? What do How I am do? Get out of here? Chat. Okay, chat. Do do I have? Oh. Yes or no? Do I have? <clears throat> this is the point where Elaine usually what rescues I need. me. Do I have what I need to do this? It's the pirate's life for me. <laughs> you guys, yeah, you think I'm stuck here and you guys were all stuck in the maze. That's funny. It's funny. That's Lane. funny. I don't even have it? Oh, frick. Anytime now. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Okay. That was a close one. The problem I'll now, remember then... remember that fire doesn't burn underwater. Okay. The it's getting hard to tell the flora from the fauna. It's getting hard to tell the flora from the fauna. The issue is... I didn't find nearly as much stuff on Terror Island as I was Whatever hoping to. Whatever it is, to. I don't think it wants me around. So unless I can scare the bird with my lantern... I don't really know. I might have to dive into the hint book, you guys. Okay, it's lit. The flame looks good. Ah, whoa! Do we have like a, is there, is there like a, uh, 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 These suckers are certainly lumpy. Is there like a poisonous fish? Is there like a poisonous fish, maybe? Ah, <laughs> I can't even get yeah. the trivia card.
Okay. Is the is the next? Is, <laughs> yes, I do want to kill the bird. Is the next key to the puzzle the bird or the underwater section? Bird or underwater section? Underwater. Okay. Okay. Underwater. I need to figure out a way to have light that's not... I need to figure out a way to have light that doesn't go out underwater. Oh, uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. What about Flamehead? Could this, could I somehow, like... I wouldn't want to wake him up. Hold on. <sighs> I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow some demon fire. <laughs> I can't believe that was a thing. Okay. Okay, demon fire. Yeah, demon fire ain't going out. It's demon fire. Okay, guys. Guys, I think I think we might be on to something here. I think we might be on to something. Please work. Yeah, look at look at the intensity of our light. Wow. It looks okay. Here goes. <laughs> Sick. All right, this is exciting stuff. I love that. Wait, what's this? I don't think I'll get too close. They probably taste delicious. Looking at these ribs is making me hungry. <laughs> yeah, that somebody big, forgot their bones. Like an angler fish. You guys ever seen those? The little uh, light on the front? Oh, that's exactly what that is. That's exactly what that is. That's an angler fish. That's cool. They're creepy as hell. Okay, so who's back here? It says, warning. It's a long way... Oh. 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 oh, no. Ow. Lucky thing you landed on my bed. Herman Toothrot? <laughs> I think so. It's been a while. So, question. What was the, what was the solution to the maze? What was the solution to the maze that I somehow stumbled on? Was it just to go in the order that they were presented on screen, or would you have to figure out the order of the writing? How have you been? Meh. Have you been in this cave very long? Well, I had not the in geologic terms. Organized by as a percentage of the nine. total yeah, okay. number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! It all depends on your perspective. I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. Oh, I was missing another note. Oh, interesting. Hey, man, you know what? Sometimes that sometimes that happens in life. Are you Luck freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Magical oh, that's me. fire water. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Phrase. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. <laughs> Try it. Ah. No. Whew, you're harder. right. Yeah, that feels good. Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. 
Can I get you anything? These are big flat rocks. Couldn't you have made the bed out of something else? They're the softest rocks I could find. Fair. Oh. It's a golden key. Oh my gosh. This is right. He's not gonna let us take it. No touching! Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So, get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key. Easy. If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Me having the key is for the greater good. For the greater good of you, certainly. I mean, I need to get out of here too. How do I so... know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? Just give me the key already. Now! Give me the Key. We're going dark. Ow! Not the light. Oops. I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. Same, bro. Well, that isn't getting me anywhere. I wish I could see it. <laughs> Shit. Want to hear a quote? X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Well, I'm it out. wasn't so hard. <laughs> what happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. 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 It's getting hard to tell the flora from the fauna. Uh, so he lives down there. I wish I could have investigated more of that stuff, but I didn't know. Whatever we were it is, end up I don't think it wants me around. Key. So now I still don't have anything to scare the bird, but what I do have is two keys. Report. And I, I think her name was. How is that possible? Said Someone to come back to her when I have more than her. an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Threepwood. Who is she? This is probably who Just they're talking about. Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. Yeah. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the keys. We have a better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, that was my I only have lead. another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. Okay, she's going to LeChuck's ship. So guess where I'm going? You guessed it. We have demon pepper now. Wonder if I could uh, mix that with the fish. I'm to give it some zip. That's my bird answer right there, baby. An empty demon pepper box. Looks like Putra replenished her supplies. Yeah. It's kind of soothing in a weird way. Old boots and deodorant. It's like a college dormitory. Putra keeps a hot fire going here. Somehow I wish I'd never asked. It was more exciting before. Okay. Well, even if I don't find her on the boat, we got something we needed. Still has an egg. Oh, what the Ugh, shit? I'll keep my distance. 
Mothers are more vicious defending their young. Oh, wow. I already had some chicken feed. Okay. So the chicken has the key. Unexpected, but welcome. Yikes. Okay. See, my thought process... <laughs> My thought process is this. I feed this thing a whole bunch of chicken feed, and it shits out the key. But, like, I, f I fed this a whole bunch of stuff. And that has not happened. So I also feel like this is probably not going to be a thing, but... I'm willing to do it ten, t ten times. I'm willing to do it ten times. <laughs> That's where I'll draw the line. That's four. Or I could just get him to explode from eating so much. That's five. That's six. Guys, if this works, could you imagine? Seven. Like, he's not doing anything differently, so I doubt it's gonna work. Eight. Oh, wait a sec. Could I, uh... Do I still have that pepper? Oh, maybe I can... Maybe I can mix that with this, too. And it'll force him to excavate his body. Okay, that is not working. Can I combine this? Oh, son of a bitch. It's old and the bristles are frayed, but it does resemble a toothbrush. Okay. Well, we know where the key is. I just can't get it yet, so we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. But I think we can get rid of our bird now, so see you later. Okay, eat. Demon peppers. See ya. Rescue this. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. Yo, wasn't there a trivia card here? Though? I swear there was a trivia card, and I even said, like, oh, we can't get the trivia card. Weird. All right. Doesn't matter, because now I can put this in. And obviously these scenes are so similar that I can't imagine why he wouldn't think we were together. Let's see if that'll work to get to visit Stan. Maybe I just need to give Stan his toothbrush like he wanted in the previous uh, jail. Come on. We've unlocked the uh, sequence, I, I think. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend stand together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him, but no escapes. Yeah, I, I promise. wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. Oh yeah, notice how the snow is removed. All clear. Stands in business, or in prison, but he's such a good businessman. Toasty. Yeah, funny how that works, eh? Loud guy, big hat. Keep on walking, you'll find him. Yeah. I don't think we need their help. We can find him pretty easily. This guy looks interesting. Loud guy, big hat. Way in the back. There he is. Okay, just quickly. Uh... Looks like they have room for one more prisoner. This? It looks like a secret escape tunnel. <laughs> hey, 
Thanks, Dan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? Oh, nice. His suit moves the same way as the other one. Some sort of a sales pitch, I expect. Pitches are for baseball, son. I make introductions. I'm like a matchmaker between you and your future. Good one. I want you to consider these two words. Ice. Sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Dan, no thanks. Don't wait too long. They're selling like hotcakes. He's trying to sell ice sculptures. Did you know there's an escape tunnel over there? Oh, no, son. I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. That we now have. Hereby ordered the defendant Smilin Stan S. Stammen is to be remanded to hard labor at the Bermuda Ice Quarry for the unfortunate trivial term of one month. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me they never caught on to my pyramid scheme or I'd probably be doing 10 years. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records, well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. Interesting. So I was originally thinking we get him out and that gets the the accountant to leave and then I could check his uh, treasure box maybe and get the picture. But now I'm wondering if I can somehow turn that uh, that order into 10 years because of his pyramid scheme. And then I could go back to the guy and be like, he's locked away for 10 years. Like, you're good. You can chill. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? Like I said, I'll be out in a month anyway. I can handle the shackles until then. What was the name of your accountant again? Ned Filigree. He's good, and he works cheap. Be careful, though. He's got a hang-up about meticulous record-keeping that can be problematic if anyone looks too close. My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. Good for you, kid. Closing time comes too soon for us all. You gotta try all the snacks you can before it does. This place sure is quiet. That's what productivity sounds like. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. I'm gonna give him his toothbrush. Here, Stan. I think this is your toothbrush. Sweet gingerbread cake. That's old Bessie, all right. I'm <laughs> much obliged. Old Bessie. Dental Samaritan? Did I do that just for an achievement? It's the judicial order for Stan's imprisonment. It says he only has one month left. Looks like a prisoner escaped. Probably through that tunnel. I'm going to escape as well. Oh, isn't that convenient? Oh, look at that! The secret tunnel leads right here to the courthouse. Very nice. Sales and marketing people like Stan are a blight on society, to be sure. But a month was all I could give him. The case lacked evidence. If there had been any legally binding evidence, okay. I would have given him 10 years okay. with no chance for parole. This is going. Uh, he once sold me a leaky ship. Does that count? The court rules not admissible, given the statute of limitations is up. Court is hey, adjourned. Jennifer, it's going freaking awesome. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, uh. We are going to go to Bare Bones Island. And Hold it. Are you sure you weren't followed? I'm gonna show We're him safe. the papers. No one is ever See if he'll give us the documents safe. that would get him ten years. Is that a sail? Oh no. Oh wait. <laughs> it's a seagull. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh no! Take these records! Nice. Give them to the courthouse on Bermuda! They'll know what to do with them! 
It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get 10 years at a minimum. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh, goodness. I love it when a plan comes together. Even if I didn't expect it. Can I have the picture? Not now. I'm packing. Can I help you pack? I can handle it. Just take that evidence to the court on Bermuda. Fine. Fine. I don't know why I'm going to need that picture of his accountant. Oh, let's peek. There is a lot of junk in here, but I think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. Rummage? Oh, what's this now? Looks like Ned had a valid accounting license on 26 islands, including the District of Columbia. Oh, inter interesting. I wonder... I'm no expert, but this stuff looks as dirty as a bag of mud in a pigsty. This should be enough evidence to lock Stan up for a very long time. So if I keep time. this out, because he has... Looks like Ned had a valid accounting license on 26 islands, including the District of Columbia. Because his license was valid, I guess he wouldn't have that in here? I don't know. Let's Your see. Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish vis-a-vis -vis customs documents that your name is actually Guybrush Threepwood Esquire. If I don't get over, I will clear the court. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn affidavit of the person who is legally Ned Filigree. Court affidavit. is adjourned. Oh wait, this is Ned's license. Sorry. Oh yeah. This is Ned's license, Looks not Looks like Ned uh, had a Stan's. valid accounting license on 26 islands, including the District of Columbia. Order! Order in the court! The court has previously recognized Ned's depth of knowledge in accounting. Do not waste the court's time by submitting redundant evidence. I forgot about this. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I probably need to do that before I get Stan super pissed. It's the secret tunnel to the ice quarry. I probably need him to help me with my marketing on that scurvy flyer. Totally forgot about that. Come on. Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? What's up, Sneaks? Elaine made this pamphlet. Yes. Why am I looking at this again? I can't, like, click on it or anything. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this bladder. Well, that's what we need it's you for. It's a little for. dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, scientific facts. I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't do. Things huh. get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. Okay, so I need to get her here. I think I'll poke he's around not going to leave. You enjoy yourself, son. Can I take these shackles now? Looks like a prisoner escaped. Probably through that tunnel. Damn. Okay. Very cool. Okay, let's go talk to Elaine. The 
dominoes are falling, guys. They're falling. Hi. Hi. I promised I'd show it to a marketing expert first. Okay. Maybe, okay, so maybe what I need to do is get him the 10 years so that he'll want to escape, so that he can escape, and then uh, I can bring him to her. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're thinking of becoming an accountant? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, let's try this. So I'm gonna go back to Ned and tell him we got problems and we need. Weirdly, this son island of a bitch. seems even smaller now that there's no one here. <sighs> Appraise the painting. These look like they're actually connected. They are. What can I do with that? Can I show that to the judge? Can I show that to the judge? I'm gonna try. this court's time by submitting Shit. incompetent, irrelevant, and immaterial evidence. Okay, it was going so good for a bit there. I'm no expert, but this stuff looks as dirty as a bag of mud in a pigsty. This should be enough evidence to lock Stan up for a very long time. Your Honor, I resubmit these incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. Can your honor please cite the statute requiring a sworn affidavit in cases of... Statute 7, Section H, Subsection G, Parenthesis E. I see. And Section U, Parenthesis E, Parenthesis II, Subsection A, Parenthesis B. Okay. And section S, parenthesis T, parenthesis F, subsection U. <laughs> I withdraw the question. <sighs> that's, that's good. Damn, that's good. Counsel for the aggrieved withdraws the damning exhibit, but reserves the right to resubmit at a later date. Gord is a... What can I do here? Maybe I should go back and show her this. I'm stuck again. He's gone, which sucks. And I have no idea where I would find him. I I could still go back to Melee Island to see that what what's up Hi. with the lady. Hi. Oh, where'd you get that? That's nice. That would be convenient. I hear these can help prevent scurvy. You heard right. How sweet! You put the painting of us back together again. I think you should keep it. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to Melee Island just to see if there's anything that happened to this woman. They said something happened. Oh. Uh oh. Somehow I don't think he's doing fine. They ransacked nice everything. Wally? Whoa. What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. These maps were Wally's life's work. At least I assume so. 
Well, they left behind the solid gold compass rose. This was no standard plundering. Who could have done this? Okay, I so let's just see shuck. where this goes. Obviously. Let's see where this goes. This is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps, globe, odd-sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Which of these ingredients is not needed to get to Monkey Island? Yeast. Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. Okay. We know they took her key, hey, and it's in the chicken. Got a warning for you. A warning? You're in danger. A stocky little ghost lady found me out. She came here and roughed me up. Took away my golden key. Oh, no. Uh, we did all the where she might have taken it? Don't know. Can't afford to care. Yes. I know did when we? I'm beat. Did we? I'm giving up on the secret. You ought to get out, too. Thanks for the warning. I've got two golden keys. Good for you. But you be careful. Remind me who took your key? Some stocky little ghost pirate lady. I didn't recognize her. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Most likely. Hello. Their place is fun. Welcome back. Hello. Hello again. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Um, I may have be miss. I might be forgetting something. Why did Wally's place get ransacked? Hello. Hmm. It's not like her to leave the place unlocked. Also, I smell brimstone and beard oil. LeChuck's been here, and that magical glow on the safe is new. I bet that's his work. Unless it's Captain Lila. Hmm. Wonder if we can use any of our keys right now. <laughs> yeah. Ha! What was that? Someone could be messing with the safe back on Melee. One of us should go check it out. I'll Stop go. Luckless. I'm itching for something constructive to do. I am not comfortable with that. Trent, what do you, mean you, you go with her. You can Where'd keep you an eye on each other. If anyone's there, the kill them. It's always nice to work as a team. They're coming here? I better take these, because if somehow these get reset, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to wait till I have everything. You just finished? Oh, congrats. Not everything in life is a competition. The secret of Monkey Island. I'm not the there's, better, there's more important things to worry about. Okay. What am I going to do here? Hi. Hi. Do we have new options? You wouldn't happen to have a mop, would you? <laughs> Not currently. I made my own, but then I left it on LeChuck's ship. It was awesome. I used a shrunken head for the top part. No problem. I don't actually need one. I was just curious. Oh, there, maybe, maybe she'll just come with us. Uh, how'd you make the cook go away? We gave him the photo that we stole from his kitchen at the beginning. I think. Could you come to the ice quarry on Bermuda to talk with Stan about your pamphlet? Oh no, I couldn't possibly go there. Bad optics. He'll have to come here. It's a prison though. Him not leaving is sort of the main idea. How long till he's out? A month. That's not so bad. <laughs> Are you sure you can't okay. come talk to Stan at the ice quarry? Absolutely sure. He'll have to come here. Okay. 
So my theory... Love you. You too. My theory of... We have to get him that 10 years. And then he'll be willing to escape. Seems to be the best option. But the problem is... We need an affidavit from this goober, who's no longer here. And... I have no clue where he would have went. Uh... So I'm... I'm... sort of stuck, I think. Hey, Stan. Hey, Stan. Howdy, son. Remind me what you said about Elaine's lime marketing problem? She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. How'd you deal with the cook, Maxim? I could be wrong. Oh, the ending's emotional? I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Did we not do the queen stuff? Oh, no. I think we were waiting. There was something about the, uh... There was something about the lump suckers. We couldn't swallow them or something. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that. Maybe now that they're on the demon pepper, maybe that'll screw her over or something. I think we could try that. We could try that. Okay, so I'm gonna replace these with the scorching ones. It's filled with lump suckers and demon pepper. Okay, that's a good start. Uh, that's a good start. Let's just see what happens. Now, the problem with... Oh! If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Like, yes, we could get the, the, the key. But that might also give us some power in here and could mess with Mr. the whole prison Threepwood, or, or court. We are waiting for you to place your fish on the plate. So, let's see. It's filled with lump suckers and demon blood. And now, let This may be a bit spicy. Yeah. But well, how am I going to work through it? <laughs> well, it seems that both contestants are having some trouble. Oh, no. I declare this contest a draw. Contestants so, may now seek medical attention if they so desire. So I need to find a way to have that not impact me. I need to have a way for this to not impact me. This is Chef Putra's demon pepper, made from the hottest peppers you can get. Tasting it is not a good idea. I loaded them with demon pepper. Okay, hold on. It's an empty bucket. Smells pretty fishy, though. Gross. Looks like day-old avocado soup. Taste it? Uh, I don't think so. What's up, Terry? What's up? Yeah, if only you could cheat somehow. Exactly, but how do I do that? How do I do it? Is 
Is there... Okay, hold on a second. So I've loaded this up with the spicy. I am going to... I'm going to try something. I am going to do this. I'm going to go back to... I'm going to go back to melee. I'm going to get normal lump suckers. Perhaps. And then maybe I can eat those. New box of lump suckers. I'd like to get a new box of lump suckers. This could be. This I'll could put work. It on tab. This Thanks. could work. Okay. This could work. 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 Now the question is, do I... How do I just get hers to be spicy? Put these in, we're in the same situation. So maybe I could like Maybe I could season those after I take mine or something. If but they're you gonna reach now, me. select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Mr. Threepwood, we await ah. your selection of fish. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> and now, let okay. the eating commence. Feels it. like it's wiggling in my throat. Play oh, we okay. know. <laughs> so, what I can do is we can do this. I still have some. I season it. That then we zip. ring. And then I pull out a normal one. If you would each now. So <gasps> and now. There we go. The there we go. Commence. Ow. Keep going, GB. Uh, Slow and steady, just get it done. Uh, two bites? That's more than she ate, right? That's fair. Yeah. I can stop now? Uh, <laughs> yes, you can stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion. Okay, now as the ruler of the land, the I should be able to, like, Mr. get the judge Greenwood. to listen to me, maybe? <laughs> Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, Esquire, has somehow successfully bested our beloved so Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Should I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda up, in your every thought AD. and deed? What's up, Burke? Honor and dignity? The queenship is Would not an a la carte life? position. Ah, uh, cooked, sure. I'm not sure I can control my thoughts, or even my deeds for that matter. You must learn on both counts. Okay, sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Bermuda. 
C- can I ask about the obey part? I mean, if I'm queen... The queen is also a citizen. Uh, how many of these vows are there? Not many. Regina Guybrush. Fine, I'll do it. It fits. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? That. Okay, I guess so. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? Absolutely. I'm unbeatable. Gladly. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new now, I wonder what becomes of Guy her. Rosh Threepwood. Congratulations. If you want my advice, I... Give me the crown already. <laughs> I hope you like spending all your time doing the three Just challenges. Just destroy it in front of everyone. Because that's basically what your job is now. I love <laughs> to write my memoirs. <gasps> oh. <laughs> um... As your queen. Oh, nice. Worker owned collective. Total anarchy. <laughs> we're all queens in our own special way. I want to tell you that we're all queens in He's our right, own you know. special way. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. <laughs> and you get one. And you. Now, if you'll excuse me, oh, I've he, got places to be. He could have went full Oprah. Missed opportunity. So the Swabi says, the map or the bucket. <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me or me mama? Yes. Now this seems worthwhile. They're having some problems. In the park there is a... There's a well and there's a swing. Is there a boat? Well, if there's two of them, then it has to be all. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I got three keys. Now that I'm queen, I'm having the castle deep clean with plenty of boiling hot water. That should do it. <laughs> okay, so I don't need to be in the castle anymore, but I'm gonna see if I can enforce this thing at the court now. Oh look, they have a picture of me. That's good, that's good. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? The Queen of Bermuda is always yes, allowed okay. to approach the bench. This is good. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. Your Honor, may I inquire about the case of everyone v. Stan? Sales and marketing people like Stan are a blight on society, to be sure. But a month was all I could give him. The case lacked evidence. Well, I've got evidence. If there had been any legally binding evidence, I would have given him ten years with no chance for parole. Court is adjourned. Your Honor, I resubmit these incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that net filigree swear <sighs> and gotta have a way around if this. said evidence is to be accepted. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish vis-a-vis -vis customs if I don't get order. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn affidavit of the person who is legally Ned Filigree. Court is adjourned. Sworn affidavit. Looks like Ned had a valid accounting license on 26 islands, including the District of Columbia. Can I sign one of these things? Why? Why? 
Why is this not working? What am I missing? What am I missing? We tried this before. Order! Order! Do not waste... Okay. Order! The court has previously... Do not waste the... Sales and marketing people at the case like if the court is a Okay, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to go to the prison and exercise my my uh, power as the queen Wait, actually I want to go to the Arena. I want to go to the guard post, maybe? All clear. Move along, move along. Guys, I'm stuck. I'm actually, I'm actually stuck. I'm stuck. Mm. Lubricant is essential. It is when you're stuck. Jill, <laughs> thanks for the super chat. Hey, I'm back at the beginning, but just wanted to say how much I've been enjoying the series. Always a pleasure experiencing a series with you. Jill Bills, you are the best. Mm. I have everything I need on me. Okay. Let, here's, the, here's the hint that I'm gonna ask, okay? <sighs> is it a matter of Combining something in my inventory. <sighs> yes or no? Combining and or like writing on something. <sighs> yes. Okay, frick. I feel like it's something to do with this. Looks like Ned had a valid accounting license on 26 islands, including the District of Columbia. Okay. Frame Ned's license? Are you shitting me? <laughs> Hold on. Order! Order in the- The court has previously- Do not waste- Okay. Now that's very interesting. That's very interesting. But why is that interesting? I don't feel like this is the answer. Order! Order in the court has previously recognized. Do not waste the court's time. try I'm gonna try showing this to Stan for some reason I'm not seeing the connection hey Stan howdy son I think I'll poke around a little you enjoy yourself son wait can I write on this now for some reason That's my old accountant, Ned Filigree. Genius with figures. But if they ever saw his records...
if hold on <laughs> this should clear up any issues oh that really do you hereby swear under oath and penalty of incarceration that you are net filigree and the documents you are submitting are true and legal Damn straight. Damn straight. Order. Order in the court. <laughs> there will be no more outburst of profanity in this courtroom. What? In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. 10 years. He's going to be pissed. Well... Yeah, I guess that shows that I'm him. That was tough. That... That was tough. Now he's gonna want out immediately. Uh, I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no. I can do a month standing on my head, but That was the most obtuse in the, in the game so far. Me for me, here. anyways, yes. Yeah, I would done. agree with you, Jennifer. I would agree, 100. Hey, Stan. You gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do 10 years. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Oh, I thought... Because doesn't this, like, didn't this melt locks and stuff before? Looks like a prisoner escaped. Probably through that tunnel. Okay, so let's see hey, if we Stan, can get him out of you here. You gotta get me out of here. How do I get him out of here? Oh my god, it just never ends. Uh, I skipped school the day they taught lockpicking. Oh, hold on. Oh no, this is for the gate. This key doesn't fit. This key doesn't fit. Worth a shot, you guys, okay? Oh, let's see if you can use my horse armor. Hey, Stan. Would a set of horse armor do you any good? Oh, it already has. What a fantastic marketing gimmick. Everybody's a sucker for horse armor. <laughs> Oh! I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. The serial number play. You love to see it. It's been a while. So forgive me. Okay, now things are happening. Stan gets free. We go see Elaine. We write the marketing materials. We go to the pirates. Welcome back. Hi. Still don't know how to get the thing out of the chicken. But that doesn't matter. It's... This is the one for Stan's shackles. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah, they've been in my family for generations. Yeah, chat, chat can give hints if they want. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna suppress the voice of the people, luckless, you know? I'm gonna yell at people. We're just having a good time. But if I if I want to hint, I'll ask directly and I'll use the, the safe word. Chat. Stan Arino. Unlock it already. I can't do it myself because my hands won't <laughs> stop moving. <laughs> ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. Yes, I want to take you to talk to Elaine about the lines. Okay, good. I'm so glad We're you just going there directly. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. 
We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. Is repeating the serial number mean. gimmick fun in an Guy adventure Rush. game? Or does it feel played you out? Once a young man with adrenaline I think issues. they only did it what do you think? twice in the beginning. And then it is cool that it's it's throwing it back because it's you it's been probably eight hours of gameplay since we've done it. So it is cool that you're going back to an old thing in the game, so I don't mind that at all. Sublines. Let's not get too clever, son. Remember the target market. Razor bombs it is. Your power right. flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. He's making this out of construction snake oil, paper. Crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie. They imply. Guybrush, if razor bombs could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Find the secret of Monkey Island. Guybrush. That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Irresistible charm? You've already got that. Aww. Aww. Everybody wants to be charming. That's perfect. Now, lastly, oh, nice. we need a call to action. Get cold, or go dark, or take that. Go dark, Those definitely. Don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Yo, Cody, what's up, man? <laughs> How you been? You working or what? Bite these. Bite these. Almost too meaningful, but I think <laughs> we can work with it. This is your new flyer. Razor bombs, bite these, prevents hair loss, reduces belly fat, may also cure scurvy. That is perfect. Show people this and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. You're sick what? again. Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull special... just because people need bulls if you With follow special me. Sauce? I'm definitely sensing some bull here. If you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Don't now, follow wait me. wait just a minute. It's a very convincing piece of marketing. I'll just borrow this for a little while. Okay, we know exactly where to go. Now, we're still going to have a problem. I have some exciting scurvy news for With you. Read this. The Razor bombs, the new amazing miracle Ghost fruit. Yeah, regrows hair, removes belly fat, oh, also cures scurvy. Fantastic! Have you got any of these miracle razor bombs? Sure thing, right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. We're saved! Bite these, and welcome aboard! That's how it's done. Okay, so I got two flags. Why? No freaking clue. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about 15 by 15, and full of holes. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about 15 by 15 and full of holes. So are these just crappy replicas? That's two flags. I can see parts of the map through the holes. Maybe I need more flags. I'm sure they won't miss one little flag, but I'd also rather not ask. <laughs> okay, I'm at a freaking dead end again, aren't I? It looks kind of bare up there now. I'm at a dead end. Okay. Okay. Oh. I can't tell you how happy that I am is convenient to see you. for him. Assuming you're real, of course. Just because I can see it doesn't necessarily mean you're real. Case in point. You'll never guess who the I was thought was shop. here in the cave stealing my golden key. But then he just vanished. Which is something hallucinations do that real people generally don't. Come to think of it, though, uh, 
Where is that key? <laughs> I, I had it right here, and there aren't that many places it could have gone. Check up your bomb, chum. Okay, let's review. I haven't looked at this book for a while. Uh, I guess I need to be on land. Uh, let's go here because that's a key location. No pun intended. Okay. Where's the fourth key? Bella Fisher's golden key and Whitey's stolen key that's in the chicken. So I need to find another another uh, flag, don't I? <gasps> this must be Whitey's stolen key. Why? Ew. Why did the chicken shit? Is that just like a timing thing? It's one of the most beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. Okay. So now it's literally just down to this. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about fifteen. By it's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about fifteen by fifteen, and full of holes. Where else could we find? Holy fuck! That's scary. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. It happened I after feeding and leaving. I was acting on my oh. own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to That's be a team me. player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. Oh, we're going to have a secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. Yikes. Okay. I need to help Wally, maybe? Are they on terror, these guys? See my... Oh. Yeah, okay. But we were, we were here everywhere, except for that, there was that weird bendy tree. Mysterious clearing. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. Just a dead end. It sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Where am I going from here? I'm trying to think of a place that could have that map, but I honestly don't recall seeing it anywhere. I could maybe go back and talk to the... Um, Elaine and I guys. debate about whether it looks like a parrot or a cockatoo. Where we found the original one? Maybe I could just show it to them. Hello. Let me 
see. Oh. Hmm. I might still need this. <gasps> that's interesting that that's an option, though. That's two flags. There are still quite a few parts of the map that I can see through the holes. So it's on an island. <laughs> okay. I feel like we found one here. We found one on that boat. It could be in a random grove on Scurvy Island because we haven't checked them all. It's not on Bare Bones. I feel like it's not on Terror because we were we spent a lot of time there. Maybe it's in a random grove somewhere. I don't like this idea. Elaine and I swim there. I got swept over the edge one time. Good thing Elaine knows CPR. I don't like this idea. <laughs> Who would have pirate things an odd hasn't gone to yet since returning? Would have pirate things not hasn't gone to yet since returning. Would have pirate things not hasn't gone to yet since returning. Who would have pirate things? I mean, I would think those three pirates. Uh oh. Oh wait a second. Uh, not scurvy. Not scurvy. Not scurvy. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just gonna check to see if Stan's back at his old shipyard. This could be this could be a thing. Oh, it could be a museum too. Could be at the museum. That's been a long time. Let's go there. Bob. Tell me about this flag. Oh, it's a super valuable okay. artifact I recently acquired. One of Bella Fisher's been original been pirate flags. One of only three known to exist. So this would be the last one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Green parrot, red parrot. Two parrots. Security's been beefed up. Or, I should say, parroted up. There's some very tiny writing on it. Now, is this going to be the same key? Gate key, museum display case. Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Yeah. Looking you good. Totally do that. There's some very tiny writing on it. I like rare pirate that's folded perfectly. <laughs> That'll do, parrots. I'm gonna have to yeah, ask you to leave the museum while I figure out what's going on with my display case lock. Uh oh. That's not great. Uh, Cody, did I see you uh, suggesting that I would be building the Hogwarts Express? next week is that what you said i maybe i will do a lego stream next week after today i won't stream until next week for sure welcome back please try not to touch anything that seems like you're not supposed to touch it okay now uh it's locked what? there's tiny writing new serial numberless locks <laughs> It's locked. <gasps> That's good. Okay, I'm thinking... Uh, I skipped school the day they taught lockpicking. 
This key doesn't fit. Oh, that would be so cool. This key doesn't fit. This key doesn't fit. Okay, we did this thing, and then, uh, and then he, he went over there and, like, hung out for quite a while. And I wonder if I could have gone into that back room while he was folding the thing. Uh, but I could also try feeding the, the parrots the crackers. <laughs> Alright. I don't know why I really overcomplicated that. This flag I got from the museum doesn't quite fit over the map. What's this tiny writing on it? Replica, not to scale. Oh, nuts. It's a replica of Bella Fisher's flag. That's two flags. There are still quite a few parts of the map that I can see through the holes. Now, what could I use to enlarge the flag? What could I use to enlarge the flag? The only thing I can think of is that little roller press. Laundry time? Shit. Okay, that's not it. Um, maybe I can try to return the replica flag for some reason. We'll try that. Hello. Nah, I'll give them back the real one. Eventually. This replica flag doesn't quite fit. I need the real ones. I wonder if I could go back to the museum guy. And, uh... Show him the replica, maybe? The name of the sheriff in Monkey Island 1 was Shine Top. <laughs> this could backfire, but. Oh, what the frick? Your pirate flag doesn't look quite right. Is it a replica? You have a good eye. You should curate a museum. The real one is too valuable to keep out here. Mm -hmm. I've got it locked in the storeroom. There's already been an attempted theft. Okay. It's locked. Okay. There's tiny writing. New serial numberless lock. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try um, something here. We're gonna open this. It doesn't fit. What? Sorry. Is something wrong? Well, I was just wiping a smudge off the glass. Oh, all right. But we're going to try and do something while I was are folding trains. the things. I can't remember if he opens that door or not, but I feel like he does. Whoa. So alarm goes. He goes over that's there. Supposed to be hopefully opens the door, starts folding. Yeah. That's my, I'd better that's fold my this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Gotta get these edges perfect. That's sick. I'll just leave the replica flag in its place. 
Oh, wait, Maybe wait, you won't wait. notice the real flag is missing. Let's do some trivia in here. What could go wrong? How many hermit crabs have made their homes on Barebones Island? Two. <laughs> I said that so confidently. Well, I'll be leaving now. Okay. It must have blown away. What am I going to do? I can't get Stan back here after that argument. <sighs> if only I'd made copies right away. What was I thinking? Now I'm right back where I started. Uh, excuse me. Are we interrupting? No. Sorry. What can I do for you gentlemen? We'd like to purchase some razor bombs. We're running low and we want to prevent hair loss and trim excess belly fat. You... Wait a minute. Where did you hear that name? We read a flyer. We heard supplies were limited. The flyer. That's my mock-up. My one-of-a-kind, impossible-to-replace, project-saving flyer. Do you have it? Please tell me you have it. Ah, sorry. It, uh, fell into the sea. Huh. Fell into? <laughs> like it wasn't your fault. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was yours. Wait, I know. You could ask the nice blonde pirate for a flyer. Blonde pirate? You guys never but saw he's this cutscene? the cut one scene? who gave it to us. Oh, he sails around in the weirdest-looking little ship. Yeah, it's probably only because we're on hard mode, you guys. Like, you know, if we're gonna play on easy mode, you can't get all the cutscenes. That's only fair. It's only fair. The holes of the three flags line up and show one exact location. I'll mark it with an X. There was a patch today, but it looked like it was only, um... It looks like it was only... Small fixes. They didn't say anything about looking at too. Oh, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. I know most people are playing on hard. That feels like the way. This is certainly exciting. I never throw out a good piece of parchment. Alrighty. The official name of the voodoo shop is the International House of Mojo. Okay, let's just take a look here. We're starting to fill up these pages. Look at all of these. Oh, I got one here. How many dead pirates are abandoned in the camp on Terror Island? I think three? <laughs> oh. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Are we lying in wait or just waiting? It's technically illegal to do piracy without a flag. I should drop the anchor so I could it's climb up. to my ship. Watch out below. Nice. Sea Monkey 2. Everybody loves a sequel. Hey, Murray. Anything on the horizon? Only your eventual ultimate obliteration. If you go straight to the map, I'm not the even mortal, and I'm feeling the, the minutes tick away. Maybe that's why some of us miss cutscenes. Oh. Interesting. You played on Ultra Super Monkey Mode? USSM? I long for the day Impressive. that our roles are reversed, and it's your head stuck on the- Why am I only f breathing for four minutes? My rapid- This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. See that blowfish there? That's a hint. Gotta be. Gotta be 100%. Because I could, I could suck more air in. Someday, all this will be mine. And it will burn. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, so I can't or I won't be able inventory. to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. Oh, here. There we go. Got me. My lungs are full of delicious air again. We actually, we actually thought about trying that before. 
Uh, so we're well ahead of the curve, you guys. Well ahead. It's basically like we design the puzzles ourselves at this point. Better be a key just chilling here. Looks like I've tracked you down. It is. Really far down, actually. Ooh, it's beautiful. Ooh, it's beautiful. <sighs> That's the last key. Voodoo shop, here I come. I cannot believe it, guys. I'm not superstitious, but I've seen one too many angry ghosts. I better split. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, Reapwood beep, has beep. all the keys! That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can say the same oh, for you. The double however. cross. Oh, Never would have expected you're it. You're betraying me. I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. See that hat fall there? That's a clue. That's a clue. We should. Not done with my drink. Sorry. Right. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. What? I wonder if these need to go into specific holes. Nope. Okay, guys, what is it? Wow. It's blindness. It's cheesier than I imagined, but still beautiful. I need another key. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Does that have an uh, S on it? Uh, it has an S on it. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. <laughs> it seems like overkill. Son of a bitch. Well, uh, there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. S for Stan, maybe? S for secret. I love how he's trying all the things that I would try. Love it. How he tried pushing the diamond. This is not a problem. I choose to see it as a puzzle. I just need heftier tools. This key is probably somewhere obvious. <laughs> just keep telling yourself that guy. Bro. This is not a problem. Just keep telling yourself that guy, Brush. I miss a trivia card in the door, I think. Look, Chuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end. With just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepwood. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a <laughs> dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute outside that door. 
The deal is off. Don't even think about following me. And count to a hundred before you leave the building. A hundred. Guybrush! Whiteybone said she saw you come in. Are you all right? Yeah, didn't you no. see? I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. Part five. There's a million parts. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. What effort? That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to Halfway mention there. the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. Yeah. Oh, nonsense. Give me 12 examples. <laughs> if you meant to challenge me, you should have gone for a larger number. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Even for you. Eh, the crown was flimsy. It just fell apart. Someone who was there described you as straining so hard she thought you might tear your own arm off. But maybe she was exaggerating. Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. She doesn't know anything. It's the contest of intelligence, not the contest of algebra. I proved my intelligence by cheating successfully. You are very clever. Incidentally, I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. How many is that She's now? She's the king. Four? Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Two of its prize exhibits went missing. Curiously, there was only one name in the guest book. I used a pseudonym. How did you know it was me? My Tea Pirate. It wasn't hard to figure out. Doesn't everyone use that one? Mighty Pirate Esquire. Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. The magic sign only works with one person, and I didn't have any way to know that in advance. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just, I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. You got what that exactly right. What exactly are you expecting to find? Understanding of the secret and of bigger things. Who are we? Why are we here? Well, be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? Once again, into the monkey head. I hate mazes. We all hate Look mazes. Look at the, the swab is I there too? Mazes. That's funny. Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. She's the best. She just owns. Oh! Hey, Wally. Wally, what happened? As if you don't know. How's it hanging? Seriously, that's the joke you were going to use right now? Eh, I'm trying out some new material. Don't quit your day job. How did you end up here? I saw your office had been ransacked. LeChuck came into the shop storming mad because he thought I gave him a mop map instead of a map to the secret. Yeah, real head scratcher how that happened. Thanks for the C map. That was really great, and I owe you for all the work you did for free. Glad you liked it. That mop map you made for me was a winner. Oh yeah, that's right. I did make you a mop map. Wait, it's all starting to make sense now. Why is it that every time our paths cross, good old Wally is kidnapped or tormented or worse? Do you think we'll have to spit the on him The mysteries of how the universe works may never be known. 
I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me both. Yeah, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get the secret before LeChuck does. Sure. Run off. <laughs> Wally will be fine. No way. Poor Wally. I'm no good at jimmying things. God damn it. This key doesn't fit. This key doesn't fit. You never know. Well, I've only got one coin left. I have one coin. What have I been spending coin on? Okay, Wally, one day I'll try to get you. Sorry. Goodbye. Blombe, you're awake. <laughs> Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Oh, yes, I very much do want to be there. Correct. I want to be there before he opens it. Ugh. <laughs> You two deserve each other. Yeah, Thank you, that's right. Run. Can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. I mean, what do I have to lose? Okay. Here goes. This will work. Phew. <laughs> La Chuck, oh, I'm good. coming for you. I'm coming for you. Damn you, Threepwood. Of course, the I echoes. should have gotten rid of you the first 58 times I had the chance. You will never make it down here alive. Do you think that's actually the number of times he's been able to kill us? And do Just it? once. I want this to be easy. Only the organized pirate will pass. Only the organized pirate will pass. This is interesting. Because I feel like... Having a to-do list kind of makes me organized. That would be super cool if you could actually use this on that and you would get through. What else makes me organized? This makes me horse-ganized. That was bad. Horganized? Wasn't going to be the same. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Huh. I guess it doesn't work everywhere. Okay, the organized pirate. It looks proud to be a monkey. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. Okay. Yep, it's made of stone. I'm naming it Captain Squint. Hold on. Jolly monkey? Squinting monkey. I'm naming monkey. it Captain Squint. Jolly, squinting, frustrated. I can relate. Monkey with parrot. I wonder if the parrot had anything to do with the eye. Only the organized pirate will pass. Yep, it's made of stone. Yep, it's made of stone. Okay, then. So these chambers are in order. Oh! <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Okay, so I need to I need I to really. help them with stuff. He's frustrated. He needs like a tool. He needs like a a knife to open up the coconut. Okay. He's squinting. He needs like a he needs a monocle. Yep. And then this bro here, the jolly monkey, he's drinking. Oh, easy. Easy game. Okay. Did you see the little logo up top there? The little Look, baby Chuck, pirate. The secret will never be yours. I hate solving puzzles more than I hate three poor. Yeah. The secret will never be yours. Huh? Threepwood, won't you? I'm a little concerned about this puzzle because what I immediately think of is the uh, graffiti that Twice we saw. Is suspicious. The graffiti that we saw um, in on Melee Island. But I don't suppose. No, nope, I literally don't have a map anymore, so I can't go back there. Okay, what now? Only the observant pirate will pass. Observant pirate. Okay. Okay. Captain Monkeybeard. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. So I can't give him anything. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. Or at least I can't give him that. Oh, here, hold on. Huh. Okay. So I can give and take those new things. Those new rocks. I immediately have an idea. Because that guy had one eye open. This guy has two eyes, but... This guy has no eyes. So the clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swab. Oh. Maybe it's their ranking. Cheer up, little guy. You'll go far. Cabin monkey. Probably not much going on. How many are there? Oh, that's not too bad. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. But he's the captain. I'm gonna give him. Uh, I'm gonna give him two, and I'll give this guy one. Or maybe, maybe they all need to have one. The problem is I don't have enough stones for that. Oh, but I have a I have a real coin. That's why I have one real coin. I bet. Okay, so now he's got one. He's got two. And he has three. Let's go. Come on, LeChuck. Challenge me. Oh, yeah, I'll take these coins back. Sure. LeChuck, the secret is mine. Oh, looks like he solved that, so that's pleasant. You really you do. You gave your real coin to the poor monkey. Don't you? That's Power nice you to the lie. You will never have the secret. I will soon so, have my revenge. That little spaceship is on top of the. And you will never escape. You double will eyes. vanish with no tails. No, I will you know. return. Spaceship on top of double eyes. Third time be a charm, three weed. Or pair of eyes. What? Next time, I keep my voice down. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. Okay, bloodthirsty. Collapsed. There's no way I'm getting through there. Oh, 
feel sorry for the sad monkey. It looks like its arm is hurt. Bloodthirsty. Okay, let's see what the other ones are. It looks like its leg is hurt. So feel sorry, feel very sorry. Arm, leg. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> Arm, leg, something. Whole, whole ass body. There's no way I'm getting through there. Okay, what? So we can go back to the previous areas. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. Sad monkey, his arm is hurt. Do I have a thing that looks like that shape? This is not looking good, you guys. I think it's just giving this guy stuff. <laughs> okay. Feel sorry for the sad monkey. Feel very sorry for the screaming monkey. There's no way I'm getting through there. This is going to be a problem. Okay, LeChuck, you've upped your game. You've upped your game. I feel like... Okay, so I literally I can't give any of the anything to that first one, but like... I wonder if it has something to do with these. I'm gonna put these all back. Let's see what happens. It doesn't make me very bloodthirsty, but I mean, it's worth a shot. There's no way I'm getting through there. Okay, is there anything it could use on the collapsed whatever? Horse armor would be sick. I think it's out of juice. Bloodthirsty. There's a thing about, um, there's a thing about squeezing blood from a stone, like a Phrase. But, um, yeah. Well, I've only got one coin left. Like, this is a very distinctive shape. It looks like its arm is hurt.
Where's my knife? So if, if this is going to open the bloodthirsty pirate will pass for a bloodthirsty pirate I would kind of think like I shouldn't feel sorry for them if I'm like bloodthirsty This is going to be a problem There's no way I'm getting through there I literally have no clue. I have no clue what I should do here. Bloodthirsty. This is gonna be a problem. 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 There's my knife. Stab it? <laughs> I thought I was trying to put something into that slot. Oh, that's why that's there. I'm just gonna stab them all? Yes. Yes, I am. Stab him right in the dick. That didn't seem to do anything. Okay. Can I stab myself? This is going to be a problem. Hold on. So this is flowing somewhere underneath us, but we're at the bottom, right? Yeah, because our other stuff is to go up. It's leaking some kind of oil all over the floor now. It's an oil. I'm sure there are plenty. Can't light it. Can I fill it? Oh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So now I can probably drizzle this into here. Nice. Okay, let's chuck. You piece of shit. Sack beaters. <laughs> yeah, chat, you were going a little bit nutty on that one. 1625. Did you see that address? Is that important? Wow. Madison. This is like one of those mystery stories where the person has so many enemies, the detectives don't know where to start. So long, Captain Madison. I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. Wait. They changed the symbols.
all of them could fit. I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. Okay, let's just double check that that's the right number that I saw. 1625. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, uh, hold on. 1625. There's this. Okay, okay. So there's this little mouthpiece. It's like missing a tooth. And the crying baby. Uh, eye patch, missing tooth, 1625. Oh, and we have this. So eye patch, yeah, we got this. Oh, it's the wrong way. There we go. We're good. Eye patch, missing tooth. I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. What? What? So long, Captain Madison. like this is the answer. It's weird that it like moves me up sometimes. What am I, am I missing something super obvious here? in a different section? I'll put it upside down, maybe? I don't want to close any more possible escapes. So long, Captain Madison. What the frick? Okay, let's go look again. 1625. That's at the bottom. It's, uh... Flat jaw with a missing tooth and an eye patch. Oh, hold on a sec. Oh, hold on a sec. Oh, hold on a sec. One of the stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumbling. There's some writing on it. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck, and they met Davy Jones for some tea. After all I've been through, finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange. What? So long, Captain Madison. Solve the code wheel. Okay, let me, let me hear this again. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck, and they met Davy Jones for some tea. Three steps right, and two left. Three steps right, and two left? Okay, so I'm gonna put this back to here. Maybe this is where the code starts. And this goes to the... Wait. Oh, uh, this one goes to the left. So that's two steps left. And three right. I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. And then four years. One, two, three, four. That's sick. Huh? 
What? Oh. I was just deep in the mushroom and lava ridden what? caves under Monkey Island, and now I'm... Oh no. Not yet. We finally... But this is different. This is not the same back alley. Score! Free popcorn! <laughs> Score! Free popcorn! Score! Employees only? Employees only. Uh, must have locked when I came out. It seems to be stuck closed. Damn it. The windows are just pasted on. Yeah, no, this is like... They're not even straight. The little rat on the High thing. Street, 20 feet. Hall of Pirates, three minute walk. Additional restrooms at Dinky Island. What? Glad you finally made it, kid. Well, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. Well, what do you mean it's Animatronic. closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What? You're gonna get me out of here. Open this bad boy up! Dang nabbit, it's locked. If only there was a key. That was disappointingly easy. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. It is Stan's chest. Holy shit. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island, and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. It's fine. I'm not even angry. Dang. Stan makes the chuck not even every angry. time. The secret is mine. Good thing the chuck didn't find the secret first. I don't think it's his size. So each time I come here, Stan really ups the challenge. But it's still the chuck zero, guybrush three wood, six. The secret is mine. Not this time, my old nemesis. <laughs> nice twist. Nice twist adding in Madison, Trent, and Lila. The team up had me fooled for a while. The secret is mine. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. So, are we, is this all just our imagination, literally? Aye, that was an absolute ripper. I hereby declare you the winner. Shop. Historic Landmark, the original secret, a pirate adventure park. Established 1989 by R. Gilbert. That's cool. Elaine, thank goodness you're here. That's of really course. Cool. Where else would I be? I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? I got the secret! You finally did it! I hope it was worth it. I'm gonna have to think about this. <laughs> How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. How did you get here before me? You know I always try to stay a step ahead. Have you done something new with your hair? Got ruffled in the fight. I like it. 
If you talk to everyone, the NPCs actually tell you the secret is just a shirt made by Stan. It was foreshadowed. What do you mean? I got the secret. You already said that. I guess I did. I'm gonna look around some more. Oh, one of the pirates and Scott mumbles that it's just a t-shirt. I, it's unsurprising, because that happened at the end of, uh, not at the end of, but it happened, was it in the first or second? They kind of blur together. I found the secret of Monkey Island, and all and, like, it was, the, was the this The whole, like, the secret one with, uh, the big whoop, you knew it was just going to be, like, whatever, and it's all about the friends you make along the way, you know? The like, switch is locked. Wait, can I show anybody my horse armor? Oh. I brought my trusty horse armor with me. But that's for next week. Have you been carrying that around all day? Maybe. That's for next week. I'll show anybody that wants to see it. Apparently only her. Yo, how do I turn this off? Oh. The switch is locked. <laughs> is there anything else we should do here? Oh, try the snacks. Want some popcorn? Ooh, did you find that on the ground? <laughs> uh, no. No thanks. Can I give it to her? Not sure how I feel about this being the secret. No matter what it was, could it have ever lived up to your expectations? Nope. On the bright side, it's 100% pre-washed cotton. Glass half full. That's why I married you. Mighty pirate power couple. <laughs> All right. Just want to see if there's anything else I can show her. Chuck's pamphlet? This one? Oh, look at this. We have these all checked off now. Oh, that's cool. So... This is... Is this all... Just a made-up a, a, a story. Hi, I'm working due east of the lighthouse and due south of. Is this camp just today. a story that Guybrush has made up for his kid, or is this like he just has a super wild imagination? To go. Good. Me too. <laughs> Dad, that was a silly.
silly ending, and it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 <laughs> really silly. That's different. We're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what you really found in the chest. Ha! <laughs> wow, okay. The secret was really the friends we made along the way. Stories are mainly the middle part, after all. And that's where most of the good stuff is. That sounds like one of those stupid grown-up answers. Mom, Dad won't tell me oh, what the cool. secret is. Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there. Sexual undertones, right? Are they gonna do another one, you think? That was fun as hell. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> There's something else you can do after the credits. I'd advise you load up an autosave. I think they, like, what I'm looking at this game through the lens of somebody that has played the games over the course of one week. It's very different when you look at it through the lens of people that may have played this game 20 years ago. Or uh, the first the first ones, I should say. And then are playing this now. It's a very different uh, perception. And I feel like um, having the secret just be like the t-shirt or whatever fine you know if people were waiting 20 years to be like what is it like you're doing it wrong you know what i mean uh <laughs> dinky game engine by ron gilbert and derek Mann. it's cool oh there's something in the scrapbook okay yeah we'll look for sure I did like, um, I liked all the characters. Flambe was probably my favorite, actually. Um, I felt like the first half of the game was very, very handholdy. Oh, that's like concept art for the museum. The last room of puzzles there with LeChuck, that was pretty cool. But th I, I would say definitely a lot easier than the first two, and that's fine because things have come a long way and it's like those old systems are jank and in my opinion not like fun when it's just frustrating you know read the scrapbook then get in the game again and return from the door you came from you mean the door in the alley They definitely seem like they've set up for a sequel. Should be fine. Yuri Lowenthal as the cook vendor Neil Druckmann? Avid MI player, if you don't know the meaning of Papa Pichu, yeah, I didn't, I didn't catch that because I, I think it was in the third one. I never played it. <laughs> hey, Sniff, welcome back.
I like to think that it's just a roleplay adventure Guybrush is having. Yeah, I kind of was... When we when he first came out there, I was like... Hmm. Cut to, like, he's in an insane asylum. <laughs> oh, that would be good. Padded walls. And you see, and you see, all you see at the end is his cell door gets closed. And you have an ambiguous, like, guard. You have an ambiguous guard walking away. But there's, like, a small hint that it's LeChuck. That's the ending I would have liked. That's all I'm saying. You see, like, he's walking away, but you kind of maybe see, like, a hint of a possible beard, but it's all shadowy and stuff. My other half said, is this like Shutter Island when we got to the end? <laughs> Your other half was very smart. You think it would be cool if they re-released it in a while with uh, the interface art style of the first? Yeah. For me, it's not so much about... Like, I don't know why people get so hung up on the art style of, of stuff. An art style is only going to carry you so far. It would be cool to, like, to do it, I guess. But they'd have to do it the same way they did the special editions, where you could switch between them. But I'm sure it would be problematic recreating this in pixel art instead of the other way around. Yeah, it would be ironic. I just don't know if they would do it for irony, but hey, who knows? Am I going to play point-and-click games in the future? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would play more point-and-clicks in the future. Not right now, though. I've played point-and-clicks for four hours a day for the past week. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm gonna take a take a break from the point and clicks. Tinsley PR, I've worked with those guys. They didn't list anybody in Devolver Digital. That was interesting. Just Devolver. Oh, they're going to list all the Lucasfilm games, guys, for reals. <laughs> you need to shoot some mofos now. <laughs> yeah, I do like shooting guys. I do. Um, starting a game on the channel tomorrow for uh, videos. It's really fun, really addictive. Uh... And then next week, I'll maybe start up some streams again. Maybe we'll do a Lego stream for a couple of days. Or something like that. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I don't know what my next streaming game will be. I don't know what, the, what I would do there, but... I've been really wanting to get back into, like, RimWorld. Um, I'd like to try City Skylines at some point, but I, feel, I have to, like, kind of go in there myself to get the basics. Uh, some type of, like, oxygen not included, like, colony management type of thing. I really enjoy that stuff. Yeah, Terraria, I know we've been talking about that. How many runs have I done in uh, the game I'm starting tomorrow, you mean? I did, uh, I think, two test runs and then deleted all my progress. And then uh, I've, I recorded two runs. I'm trying to, sp without spoiling stuff, I I'll tell you in Discord some other stuff, but yeah. I haven't tried Anno, no. 
Farthest Frontier is something I've heard good things about. <laughs> nice. Look, they're all just chilling. Something new has been added to the scrapbook. Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? Do it's I? It's filled with my adventures. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. We went through this at the beginning of uh, the playthrough, but didn't click on everything in detail. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. Uh, these are from the time yeah, I we went did to find them, yeah. the treasure of Big Whoop. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, the Chuck was <laughs> behind it, of course. This is never where gives up. This is where I was like, oh, damn. So this must be curse, I guess? This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Oh man, this was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. And then this must be the fourth one? Fourth or fifth or whatever. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. These are from the time I found the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, cool. We'll go through these ones. I started my voyage at the Scum Bar, but right away I could tell it wasn't going to be like old times. The new pirate leaders were focused on sacking and pillaging. But plunder stats aren't everything. Okay, now I'm also... There's something to me that's interesting about this all being done in children's writing could you put out a video of all the XCOM 2 mods as I love the game but want the mods you had if you click on any of the XCOM videos uh, in the description all of the mods are, are listed uh, there's something about this being written in children's writing that's confusing because it almost makes me feel like Boy Brush is doing this. I learned more than I ever wanted to know about mops. I made the unusual decision to join LeChuck's crew as a way to get to Monkey Island. Serving on LeChuck's ship was an interesting experience. I grew to like the crew. I forgot all about looking like a zombie and starting a mutiny and seizing the ship. My disguise held up great, right up until we were nearing Monkey Island, when it, um, well, there was a failure. Gullet was my supervisor. Not a very pleasant guy. Putra was really happy when I got her promoted to chef. I got thrown off the ship, but that was okay. I'd gotten as far as I needed to. The actual return to Monkey Island was not what I expected. We all thought the secret would be on the island somewhere. Everybody had a map, some more useful than others. Elaine and I rebuilt my old ship, the Sea Monkey, so we could sail back to Melee. And I learned some deeply personal things about my nemesis, LeChuck. The temporary pact I made with my enemies turned out to be about five minutes more temporary than I had hoped. It was a race to get to the secret first. I hunted down all five golden keys. I wonder if I was supposed to keep these. <laughs> LeChuck teamed up with Madison, but that was never going to last. Madison was scheming to betray LeChuck. Lila was scheming to betray Madison and LeChuck. I'm not sure Trent ever thought very far ahead. <laughs> Whitey Bones That's told good. me all about the Golden Keys. Elaine had a lot on her plate, but she was with me in the end. Carla handled earthquake relief as best she could under the circumstances. I broke Stan out of prison. Wally was kidnapped. The voodoo lady disappeared. Yeah, what happened to her? I unseated the reigning queen to become the last queen of Bermuda. I, she I visited yeah. Herman Toothrot in his cozy hermit cave. I managed to recover the secret, but then LeChuck stole it and took it back to Monkey Island to open it. We chased LeChuck back to Monkey Island again, and I tracked him down. Elaine held off Flare Gory while I went into the monkey. 
and I made this mock-up of the final puzzle. I think it's pretty neat. Pretty good. I found Wally. Oh, yeah, we left him there. <laughs> I forgot about Wally. Someone had devised a series of themed pirate monkey puzzles to keep out the unworthy. Oh, shoot. I wonder when this fell out. What's that? Wait, what's this? What's this? R and D. June 18th, 2020. Development won't start for another month or so, but we've been thinking about this for a while. Seemed like a good time to jot down a few thoughts and then stash them away as a sort of time capsule message to our future selves about what we're setting out to do with Return to Monkey Island. Who knows, we might learn something. Monkey Island has historically been a reflection of the lives of the people who made the game. The secret of Monkey Island was about a young person setting out to pursue an exciting new career. As designers in our 20s, that is what we all were. The sequel, The Chuck's Revenge, was in many ways about the difficulties of making a sequel, or at least about what one does immediately after something that felt like a great success, but which went unnoticed by most of the world at large. Many years, 20 later, after Guybrush had gone on a couple of adventures with other teams who had their own hopes and challenges, we set out to make Tales of Monkey Island as a story about trust, and it is, but what jumps out most for us is that it feels like a story about grown-ups. Because that's what we were, many of us in our 40s by then, with children and lives and lumpy encrusted layers of experience. We are well into our 50s now, we've had lengthy careers, we've made a lot of games, but Monkey Island still defines us to a certain degree, or at least in the minds of many, we are those guys who made that game a long time ago. And it feels like there's some unfinished business there. When the opportunity arose to come back to Monkey Island, we were pretty much on the same page as to what we wanted to do. Guybrush, like us, is older now, and he's had a long and reasonably successful career. But he's mostly associated with something that happened a long time ago, and that feels unfinished to him. The game is a goofy pirate adventure, and same as always... Oh, the same as always. But also, it's a story about trying to recapture the past with all its alleged youthful strength and glory. Guybrush will both succeed and fail at this. He will sort of get what he wants, but it won't be what he expected. I predict the same for us. Ron and... I, sorry, I don't know the other guy's name. Note to self, get more paper for the rest of my adventures. So this is Guybrush then, writing this. Which is why your quest log had the words, relive the old glory on the main quest. Oh, cool. watch the other endings on YouTube. What do you mean? Okay, so now people are saying to load up the autosave. And go back to the door. Uh, must have locked when I came out. It seems to be stuck closed. Uh, must have locked when I came out. If you return to the door, you can get the other ending. You tried to polish that. Okay, what do I do here? Oh, maybe this? <laughs> I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. What am I doing now, though? <clears throat> oh, go find Wally? What? I don't believe? <laughs> Where the hell's Wally? Technically three endings. Deny what I thought I saw downstairs and return to the world I knew. I have to watch this thing again. You 
can choose to believe at the pirate story if you don't like the theme park ending. To save Wally, you needed to copy the serial number all the way back in chapter two? From where? <laughs> Wally's not real. Nobody's real. Which uh, serial number are you talking about, Maxim? Oh, we can just quit out of here. No, I can't. I can't even. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, is there anything else I can try? Oh, deny what I thought I saw downstairs and return to the world I know. Okay, that's what popped up. Chapter 2 on the ship. The shackles are just lying there on the deck at the bow. You can copy the number, then make the key later. Really? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool, Maxim. If you open his manacles, won't he just fall into the lava? I was thinking the same thing. If we were able to, to get rid of those, he would fall in, but I don't know. I'm trying to envision where the shackles were. Either way. That's cool that there's a couple different endings there. Uh, guys, thank you so much for uh, being here on the adventure. This was really, really cool to play these games because I had no clue what I was getting into. And um, a lot of great storytelling with like some great memorable lines, some cool plot twists and stuff. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Laying on the deck of LeChuck, like up at the top there, right? Near the crabs and the cannon. Oh, you know, um, uh, uh, there was that one thing on the ship where you could peer over and see people, like, trapped or whatever, and you couldn't do anything with that. Was there anything that could have been done that I missed? Any spooky games for October? Yeah, I wouldn't mind maybe doing some spooky streams. There's a bunch of horror games that I've that I've missed, that I have not played, that I think would be fun to revisit. I know, like, for example, um, Visage is fully released, and I believe I only did, like, one of the chapters or something. If you can, if you choose to not open the chest, the story continues with Guybrush losing the chest before discovering the real secret, and he continues adventuring. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because that's another thing we could have just not opened that and left, right? Am I gonna buy one of the new 40 series graphics cards? No. <laughs> no. I don't think so. How about Phasmophobia Co-op? Yeah, maybe. I'm kind of like co-op I'm I'm mixed on because um when I stream I like to like the reason I stream is so that I can chat with chat. And when I play co-op games, I can't really chat with chat cuz it's so hectic and I have other people talking to me and then I can't chat with chat. Uh, I saw people playing a preview of Scorn. So the issue with Scorn is um, it's gonna it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get limited ads, and I don't mean like the number. I mean it's gonna be limited to the potential ads that it can even get because of the subject nature. So when you upload a video, you have to like check off all these boxes. And that game's going to have a lot of issues passing advertiser uh, acceptance. Yeah, no, I get that you love the moments that I had with Luckless Kaz and Tracer, and I did too. Uh, I'm just telling you the reason that I tend to 
enjoy co-op games less while I'm streaming. You know what I'm saying? But we'll come up with some scary games maybe and go from there. I've done a lot of a, a lot of uh, really like dark and disgusting and like horrifying games before, but Scorn is a little different. Scorn is, at least from what I've seen, looks very grotesque and very brutal, almost for the sake of it. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, uh, yeah, Mortuary Assistant looks like it might be cool. I saw Luckless play a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll make a decision and I'll get back to you. Thank you guys for being here. This was fun. Uh, I won't be streaming until at some point next week. I have a uh, cousin visiting me tomorrow. And then uh, I'll look to start the streams again next week. But I've got some new uh, recorded stuff coming starting tomorrow. Enjoy that. It's addicting. It's really good. 